Sweatshirted protesters paraded coffins through Thailand's capital Monday in a renewed attempt to pressure the government to step down. They were drawing attention to the toll of the street fighting Saturday, which had left 21 people dead, four soldiers and 17 civilians, including a Thomson Reuters cameraman. Supporters were cheering the demonstrators on. The government and the protesters claim they're fighting to preserve democracy. One protest leader declared red shirts will never negotiate with murderers. The red shirt followers appear to be holding fast. Just like our leaders say, we have to keep going towards victory, keeping hold of the moral high ground of those who are fighting for democracy and calling for a fair constitution. We are standing by our demands. The anti-government protesters are made up of mostly poor and rural supporters of former Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawatra. They're angry that Thailand's ruling elite orchestrated a military coup in 2006 that removed him from power, prosecuting him for corruption as well. Current Prime Minister Abhisit Wichachua blamed the weekend bloodshed on a small group of troublemakers, whom he called terrorists, but he was still refusing to dissolve his government. Authorities were conducting autopsies on nine bodies Monday while relatives and colleagues of the dead waited at the Institute of Forensic Medicine. Lieutenant General Pong Sapat Pong Charawan said police trying to maintain order were getting caught in the middle of the political dispute. Well, we, we, we try to explain to the society, uh, all the people, it doesn't matter in the government side or, or the racial side or whoever, uh, they kind of make uh, to believe that the police have to do the right thing to do in the middle way. Saturday's street fighting may have been too much for Thailand's influential army chief, who's finally weighed into the increasingly violent political dispute. He said Monday peace must be restored in the country, even if it means dissolving parliament. There were unconfirmed reports that Abhisit's coalition partners were starting to pressure him as well. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.